All right, hello everyone. So let's take a look at the market and see what's going on. Today's Tuesday. And let's see. Right, so this is gold, right? Remember with gold, what did I say? I said we want to go up our biases to the upside because we've got a PST breakout. So the market should go up on the weekly and the market did go up. So what did we want it to do? We wanted the market to come back down so we can go up. All right, so as you can see, as long as the market was standing up here, the market sold at the Astro Hours and they bought at the lows here. And I talked about 2006, that's your 2006 market leaping up from 2006. That's your Astro Hour. If you followed it through, you should have been fine at least until the high of there in the Asia opening. Okay, remember, we still want to go up with this. The reason being the PST breakout from yesterday. So the support for today is going to be the 67, 66, which is 2008, 2009. So if the market dips down to 2008, wait, that's done. 2009 is here. 2008 is here. Okay, so in this day, if we come back into this 2008, 2009 business, okay, this is fine for us to go back up. All right, so this zone is okay, that's done, and that's it. So if we do dip down back into the daily pivot, is also okay. If we come back down, we can go up. If the market breaks above, the highs then on the dip down into an astro hour you can go up again we talked about targets so i don't want to keep giving you um, a headache about it now listen this 2000 this is the high let's take a look at this the high of this on gold whoopsie daisy 2022.19 is there okay let's call it 2020 2019 2020 three okay so if we're there if we break above that it's obviously going to go further and that's what we want to do right so if the market does come back down going up is okay and then we should have a target on the weekly where to let's check it out on the monthly 2045 all right 2045 that's going to be too far out for the moment 2054 hmm so this should if it breaks up we should like go up a little bit eh fair enough so let's do this 2035 is the first Fibonacci rate. So I'm going to put 2035 there. That's where we should head towards. Okay. And then we've got 45, 2000. 45 is about there. Okay. And then you got 54, was it? On the daily. Yeah, 2054. Okay. And that's that. Now we'll sharpen them up as we go along. Okay, but we can keep this here, these levels as a vision. All right, so those are going to be the targets for us there. Okay, so on the pullbacks going up is okay. Now, remember, remember the swing days I posted yesterday. All right, so that's how it is. Let's take a look at SP500 on the daily there. Now, yesterday, remember I said this zone is a sell zone, so we want to be selling if the market comes up into a resistance zone where we've got astro hours. Okay, so these were the astro hours. You can see the market was doing the highs here where they sold off before around the Friday. 
there okay and that's your monday so this was also a good level to buy i talked about this as well i said you could go long here on this one on the weekly pivot to the highs and then sell off okay and that's exactly what happened here now i didn't put the astro hours here but they're already in the members area as you know before i do the videos so whoops so let's take a look at the daily now on this this is still a sell zone for us this is a bit of a tight zone because you see we've got the targets there already so if the market goes back up into 76 that's four five six three four five six three is around there so if we come back into four five six three there okay selling at astro hours is okay if you take a look at the weekly we're already there so we want to you know we're looking to sell okay so it shouldn't be a surprise if the market comes you know anywhere any any intraday retracement into an astro hour for us is is selling okay and once we break below this zone here we should be you know kind of determining that we're going to be going down okay so this is like going up in order to push down one two three three taps one two three four five ending diagonal we should have an a b c down coming at least down to here so that level there h c l one is four thousand five hundred and forty so we're going to put four thousand five hundred and forty which is there okay four thousand five hundred and forty okay so i'll just bring it into there so that's going to be a target for us there that's on the daily which is the low of the PST here. Then we've got 67, which is 4,532. We can move that into 4,532 there. Okay, so that's that. And on the weekly, if it does start to break down, we should start to dip into 5854, just 4,500 and 446. So you've got 4,000. 500 down there okay so we can kind of like keep that on the radar for us okay 4500 there okay so what we want to do is astro hours um any up move you want to sell on intraday retracements up euro dollar look same kind of thing here this is our sell zone we talked about this zone so the market should be selling and at astro hours if we find ourselves somewhere up there we want to be selling okay on the weekly it's already done on the monthly i talked about this level 53 as you guys know it's 10 13 which i already marked there in the 15 minute chart 10 13 is there okay now will it get there will it not get there it doesn't really matter we've got swing days noted on the euro dollar and as you know Okay, these high levels retested again Tuesday. So we want to be selling at Astro Hours. Okay, this was an Astro Hour, which was a bit too early in the morning. So I didn't put it up there because it was already done when I was looking at it, when I started to look at it. But if you know financial astrology like we do, you'll be able to mark these hours before, right? So the market, in my opinion, should short the euro dollar okay and this is the zone so if the market does want to push up a little bit more just be mindful that 10 13 is an option if we go go up in go up um let's see now it's already done on the monthly that's 10 13 so yeah, that's pretty much 1013. 0.992 is on the price. And this is your zone. All right, one, two, three, four, five. Maybe a little bit more up is okay as an ending diagonal. Okay, coming into that 0.992. There. Why? because they're 0992 there all right so if it does come up a little bit more it can do so all right and then this is also going to be a sell zone for us now this the swing day for this was monday okay but 
as you can see, it's closed above there on the 15 minute chart there. Okay, so we're going to have to be a bit cautious. Okay, what the market might have done is also this because Monday's a new week, it might have done a low and then kind of like sizzle up into the next swing day and then fall off as well. But in any case, we want to be selling the highs on the euro dollar according to our technical analysis at Astro Hours. If you want to do that, you can do it on the highs of Monday and Tuesday. Or if it breaks out, you can do it at these levels there, 10, 13, 992, 981. Let's take a look at Dow Jones, NASDAQ, Bitcoin. In any case, if you do so, you want to be targeting all the way down into the weekly. And also previous day low is good. So somewhere under 1.0925 can also be a target. But like I said, my bias is to the downside at levels um, where the market has got targets on the PST or price targets according to our technical analysis. So the beauty about it is if it matches technical analysis with the Astro Hours, then we're rocking and that's all good. Okay. Okay, so now we've got Dow Jones here. Now these are Astro Hours yesterday. These were price levels, remember? going up into that price level there. It didn't really touch that price level here. It did come pretty close though, as you can see where the market kind of like tipped it off. Now with the Dow Jones as well, we're still, what we want to be, it's a swing day for us yesterday. So what we want to do is make use of it. All right, so any intraday retracement, I think is okay to sell on this as well. If you take a look at the daily, like we're like on top of it right there. You see, this is the place where we should start to kind of turn around. So selling is okay. 76 is 35409. So 35409 is about here. If the market does like kind of hit its head up somewhere, we should sell, in my opinion, just like with the SP500. Now, the first support of the day is going to be 73 which is 35,317, 35,317. Once this breaks, which it should break in my opinion, whoops, come on. Okay, which it should break, once it breaks, then you know we should start to go towards the weekly and the lower targets. Now the lower targets with the daily, they're gonna change every day. 67 there, you got 35,209, 191. Okay, 35191209191. Okay, and 209 is there. Okay, so whoops, there we can get rid of this. And so this is the zone which you should be targeting. It should kind of come down into that zone. So any astro hour, we're at the highs here or bumping our head into that zone. We're going to be selling down. NASDAQ, same kind of thing, guys. Okay, same kind of thing. Let's see. What was that? What time was that? That's 8 o'clock on the platform. Yesterday's astro hours were 8725 here and we had what 1020 which is 920 there okay so not the best of hours okay not very good at matching there but at the end of the day you would have had whoopsie daisy what was that four we had three o'clock and 330 which is these lows here, two o'clock and two thirty. There. Okay, so where the market, if you went long there, you would have been stopped out here. Okay, that's for sure. So this was a bit tricky. It came nearly to the PST level. If you did trade it on the PST or closer to the PST level, fair enough. But if you were waiting for the Astro Hour, you would not have traded this one from there. Any up move again? Want to push down? Okay, because we are sellers that nearly made the target yesterday. And 
so this zone is basically selling down okay we should be going down into 61.62 which is 15.868.40 15.8.40 and let's do this 15.8 well let me just not take that because these are PST levels I'm not going to be lazy I'm just going to get a new one here 860 so we should be targeting this zone here all right nice and easy so any up move if the market comes down then goes up into an astro hour it's sellable this zone is sellable here okay as you can see there's a bit of a gap here so the market wanted to close the gap and then sell off is okay to do so the daily pivot is slightly lower but i think this zone is okay to sell at astro hours if if before new york we come down and then go up you might want to sell again if in new york we come down into the previous day low at an astro hour and you want to go long as an intraday trade not a bad idea just be mindful all right if the market is favoring us we should go up first and then sell off before we come down here bitcoin as usual guys the highs i'm saying sell off we talked about this before we want to wait for the breakout of these levels here this one this one so the minute the market starts to break down any up move is okay this is you can see it's like a lot of divergence there not a lot of energy for the market to buy at the highs buying at the tops is not a good idea as i always say so if the market comes back up you can sell off okay and that's basically how it is yesterday also if you take a look at your astro hours what have i got here the low see that's 350 which is yeah which is your 445 bar okay which we talked about it's just part of your astro hours and then what's this 535 we don't have a 535 7 yep 720 on the platform is your 820 my time market going down okay and then it's coming into 1020 which is 920 on the platform and that's your 920 there straight after the market falls down again as you can see okay so just a matter of following through okay so market goes up bang bang bangs like an abc down and that's basically it okay um so if we go up again i think you can sell where can you sell you can do these levels here opening highs of yesterday or if the market comes up here if we go above this a little bit touch this zone and sell off at astro hours is also doable and if the market should go down we should start to break down your first support is going to be 48 36 537 so 36 537 okay so this is you're going to be your first support which is there the second one is your hcl1 35 9 six two nine six two is there okay so we've got room to come down if the market goes up you know want to push it down okay better always to sell the highs okay especially if we are at levels where the market oops where the market is as you can see like selling off there there's a lot of divergence there but to be sure we're going to have to break some swings okay to kind of like confirm that we want to go down because if we break some swings and close below that then an abc up move in the short term in the smaller time frame then should give us an opportunity to short it again down here 